The Flying Lizard Motorsports Group is a motorsport team from Sonoma, California, formed by Seth Neiman in early 2003. The team competed in the full American Le Mans series season, as well as the 24 Hours of Daytona, and the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The team went on to win six driver and team championships in the American Le Mans series, becoming a Porsche factory team and Porsche Motorsport North America's development partner from 2007 to 2012. The team helped develop the first and second generation 997 GT3 RSR as well as bring it to victory several times in its six-year run in the series. The team solely raced Porsche cars from 2004 to 2019, becoming a staple in the Porsche racing community. After 10 years of ownership, Seth Neiman sold the team during the 2014 offseason to longtime crew chief Tommy Sadler, chief strategist Thomas Blam, and former Lizard driver Darren Law. Sadler stepped up to become technical director, Blam became team manager and law program manager. No longer factory-backed or privately funded, the team became a customer racing effort, expanding to a variety of series and manufacturers. To date, the team holds 10 professional team and driver championship titles as Flying Lizard Motorsport, and four additional team and two driver titles with Capex Racing and GT World Challenge America. The number 45 Flying Lizard Motorsports Porsche 911 GT3 RSR at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. The number 44 Flying Lizard Motorsports Porsche 911 GT3 RSRs at the 2011 Petit Le Mans. The 2004 American Le Mans Series season saw Flying Lizard Motorsports and drivers Darren Law and Johannes Van Overbeek finish second in the GT2 Team and Drivers Championship. In 2005, the team finished third in the ALMS GT2 Team Championship with drivers Johannes Van Overbeek and John Fogarty finishing fifth in the GT2 Drivers Championship. In 2006, the team finished third in the GT2 Team Championship and driver Johannes Van Overbeek finished second in the Drivers Championship while his teammate, Wolf Hensler finished fourth. For the 2007 season, the team took delivery of two brand new 997 Porsche 911 GT3 RSRs. Team also became Porsche Motorsport North America's development partner and received factory support from Porsche. Drivers Johannes van Overbeek and Jörg Bergmeister and the new addition of Mark Lieb shared duties of driving the number 45 car, while Darren Law, Seth Neiman, and Lonnie Pecknick shared the number 44 car. After the number 45 car won three times in 2007, including the prestigious Petit Le Mans, the team would finish second in the team standings to the Risi Competizione team. Drivers Jörg Burmeister and Johannes van Overbeek would also finish second in the series driver standings. For the 2008 season, the Flying Lizard team continued on in its fifth consecutive season in the GT2 class of the American Le Mans series. For this season, the team expanded into a three-car operation with three Porsche 2008 911 GT3 RSRs. In the number 45 car, previous season driver Jörg Bergmeister was joined by Wolf Hensler for the full season of competition with third driver Mark Lieb. Johannes van Overbeek and the new addition of Patrick Pillay piloted the team's number 46 entry full-time with guest driver Richard Leitz. In the number 44 entry, Darren Law and Seth Neiman with guest driver Alex Davison piloted the car. The number 45 car of Bergmeister and Hensler was in tight contention with the Tafel racing squad of Dominic Farnbaker and Dirk Mola, and at the end of the season emerged the overall points winners. Giving Flying Lizard Motorsports their first-ever GT2 class championship. For 2009, Flying Lizard Motorsports back moved to a two-car squad with the returning GT2 class champion number 45 car being piloted by Jörg Bergmeister and Patrick Long for the majority of the races with Mark Lieb as the reserve third driver for longer races. The number 44 car will be piloted by Seth Neiman and Darren Law for the majority of the races with Johannes Van Overbeek as the reserve driver. After coming in fourth at the season opener at Sebring with a heavily damaged car, the number 45 team took the class win in the following five races. At the following two races at Road America and the sport they faced much tougher competition with a greatly improved Ray Hall Letterman Racing BMW team and a new Corvette Racing team. The number 45 managed third at Masport and fourth at Road America but came back to claim first place in GT2 at the season finale in Monterey, California. Winning six out of ten races, the number 45 car won the GT2 team championship giving the team its second consecutive championship win. Jörg Bergmeister and Patrick Long also won the GT2 drivers championship. For 2010, Flying Lizard Motorsports continued running two cars. The two-time GT2 championship winning number 45 car, 
driven by Jörg Bergmeister and Patrick Long with Mark Lieb as the reserve third driver. Competed alongside its sister car, the number 44, driven by Seth Neiman and Darren Law with Richard Leitz as the reserve third driver. The Lizards faced fierce competition from Rahal Letterman Lanigan Racing and Risi Competizione. After finishing fourth at the 12 Hours of Sebring, the number 45 car went on to take first place in its class at Long Beach, Laguna Seca, Lime Rock Park, and Masport. The Lizards placed second in the team championship and first in the drivers' championship thanks to Jörg Bergmeister and Patrick Long. This gave Flying Lizard Motorsports and Bergmeister three consecutive driver championship titles. For the 2011 season the team utilized the brand new second-generation 997 GT3 RSR. Both the number 44 and number 45 car were piloted by the same team as the year before. With the exception of Marco Holzer replacing Richard Leitz as reserve third driver in the number 45 car. After finishing second in GT2 championship the year before, Ray Hall Letterman Racing came back to fight even harder against the Flying Lizard Motorsports Group. The number 45 car managed a second in class at Lime Rock, first in class at Laguna Seca and a second in class finish at Petit Le Mans. The team managed a third place finish in the GT season championship while Jörg Bergmeister and Patrick Long finished fourth in the GT Drivers' Championship. In 2012 the team took delivery of two brand new second generation GT3 RSRs. This year's car has a front and rear track that has been widened by 1.9 inches allowing for much wider tires giving more grip. The Flying Lizard Motorsports team struggled to find speed and consistency with the new car. The number 45 car managed a win at Lime Rock Park after a fierce battle with Corvette Racing and Extreme Speed Motorsports. The team also managed a win at Masport but was disqualified after failing a stall test at the end of the race. The team finished fourth in the GT Championship with Jörg Bergmeister and Patrick Long finishing fifth in the Drivers' Championship points. With the development of the 997 GT3 RSR ending, the team's relationship with Porsche Motorsport North America was discontinued. On November 15, 2012, Flying Lizard Motorsports announced that they would transition to competing in the GT Challenge category. The team fielded a two-car team for what would be the final season of the American Le Mans Series before it merged with the Rolex Sports Car Series to form the Tudor United Sports Car Championship in 2014. With the team winning four races of the 10-round season, including a victory at the season finale, Petit Le Mans, drivers of the number 45 car, Spencer Pimpelli and Nelson Kanash Jr., would finish second. In the GTC Drivers' Championship behind the Alex Job Racing's Jeroen Bleekemmel and Ann Cooper McNeil and the team would claim its third ALMS Teams Championship and their first in the GTC class. The number 35 Flying Lizard Motorsports Audi R8 LMS at the 2014 Six Hours of Watkins Glen after competing with Porsches since its inception, the Flying Lizard team announced on November 11. 2013 that it would partner with Audi Sport Customer Racing to campaign a two-car Audi R8 LMS effort in the newly formed Tudor United Sports Car Championship GT Daytona class. Seth Neiman and Dion von Molka would team in the number 35 car Nelson Kanash Jr. and Spencer Pimpelli sharing the number 45 car. The season began with a last lap battle at the 24 hours of Daytona, resulting in the first place finishing car to receive a penalty for intent for avoidable contact, awarding Flying Lizard as the winners. Five hours later, the penalty was revoked, moving the Lizard squad to second place. The team finished out the season with four top five finishes. For 2015, the team announced they would run a partial season in United Sports Car, in addition to running a full season in Pirelli World Challenge and Porsche Cup of America. The team ran five races with the Audi R8 LMS throughout the season, the 24 hours of Daytona, the 12 hours of Sebring, the Monterey Grand Prix, Lone Star Le Mans and Petit Le Mans. The 2015 drivers included, Tomonobu Fuji, Satoshi Hoshino, Robert Thorne, German Marcus Winkelhock, Colin Thompson, Marco Holzer, Guy Cosmo, Patrick Byrne, Mike Vess, and Jason Hart. The team's highlight of the season included a top-five finish at Petit Le Mans, which was cancelled with only 7 hours and 51 minutes of the 10-hour race completed. GT Capex Racing Capex Racing with Flying Lizard Motorsports McLaren 650S GT3 of Robert Thorne Flying Lizard partnered with Championship. Winning Team Capex Racing in 2015 to enter two McLaren 650S GTEs for a full season in the Pirelli World Challenge GT Championship. With McLaren GT factory driver Kevin Est and Capex veteran Robert Thorne, the unified effort had a successful first season, earning four wins and eight podiums. 
Est proved to be a front-runner, winning round two at Circuit of the Americas by over 30 seconds in torrential downpour, establishing himself early as a championship contender. Flying Lizard returned to manage the K-Pax program, solely under the K-Pax racing banner, in 2016 with Alvaro Parenti, Austin Sindrick, and Colin Thompson, racing three McLarens. Parenti clinched the driver championship, while young Austin Sindrick earned three podiums and three pole positions. In all, the full-season program clinched the team, driver, and manufacturer championships, with 16 top-five finishes, 12 podiums, 7 pole positions, and 6 wins. The team closed out the season with a return to endurance racing, a first for K-Pax Racing, running the 12 hours of Sapong with Shane Van Gisbergen, Komla Dogar, and Alvaro Parenti. The number 9650SGT3 finished 10th overall, 7th in class, the championship-winning duo returned again in 2017 under the K-Pax Racing banner, with returning champion Alvaro Parenti being joined by full-season entry Brian Sellers and partial-season entrant Mike Headland. The GT Championship also introduced a new sprints format, where two drivers would share a car for an allotment of races. Ben Barnico joined Parenti in the No. 9 McLaren, and Johnny Kane raced with Sellers for the first few races. Michael Lewis joined Mike Headland, but then switched to the car of Sellers after Hedlund pulled out of the championship. The team finished runner-up in the sprint championship, earning a total of 5 wins and 10 podiums. For 2018, the operation switched manufacturers, dropping McLaren for Bentley. The Pirelli World Challenge Championship was comprised 10 events, 5 of which 2 driver sprints races. Parenti returned for a third year, joined by Flying Lizard alumni Rodrigo Bautista. The pair were joined by Bentley Works team drivers Andy Sosig and Maxime Solit for the sprints races. The team celebrated 10 victories, rebounding from heavy crashes at Street. Petersburg and VI Virginia International Raceway early in the season. The partnership continued in 2019, as the series changed from the Pirelli World Challenge to the SRO America-led Blapain GT World Challenge America. The series format changed to two 90-minute races each weekend, with two drivers per car. Alvaro Parenti and Annie Sosik returned as co-drivers, and Rodrigo Bautista raced alongside Maxime Solit. Together, the Bentley squad earned six wins and 23 podiums, clinching the team championship and finishing in second and third in the driver standings. In 2020, the team only completed one race in the GT World Challenge America Championship, entering Patrick Byrne and Guy Cosmo in a one-off at the Circuit of the Americas doubleheader. The team also expanded their footprint to race overseas in the GT World Challenge Europe Championship, entering two Bentleys into the competition with drivers Alvaro Parenti. Andy Sosik, Jordan Pepper, Rodrigo Bautista, Maxime Solet, Jules Gaunon, and Alex Buncombe. The best finish of the season was a sixth in class. The program switched up for 2021, coming back to the United States to race a pair of Lamborghini Huracan GT3 cars with Andrea Caldarelli, Jordan Pepper, Corey Lewis, and Giovanni Venturini. With only one DNF, the program swept the championships, finishing first and second in the driver categories, and taking the 2021 Pro Team title before the season finale. GTS GT4 slash GT America, Flying Lizard Motorsports in 2016, the Lizard Group began its own customer racing program in World Challenge, fielding entries at Road America, Sonoma Raceway, and Laguna Seca with Andy Wilzock and Mike Headland. Heland earned two third-place finishes in both of his Sonoma Raceway races, and Wilzock also earned a double podium at Road America. Program manager Darren Law joined Wilzock at Laguna Seca for the first sprints doubleheader, and the pair finished ninth and fourth. The 2017 Flying Lizard Motorsports Porsches of Rodrigo Bautista and Nate Stacy the following season, the program expanded, Fielding a pair of Flying Lizard Porsche Cayman GT4 Club Sport Mister for Brazilian Rodrigo Bautista and Nate Stacy. Bautista proved to be one of the breakout rookies of the season, earning four wins, including a sweep at Lime Rock Park, a track the Lizard program always showed success at. Together, the pair earned 10 podiums and 17 top 5 finishes. World Challenge introduced the Sprints Championship to the GTS class in 2018 allowing AM drivers to have a co-driver for each doubleheader race weekend. Mike Hedlund returned to Flying Lizard to race his Audi R8 LMS GT4 solo, while Adam Merzon and Ryan Eversley shared the driving duties for the NO. 23 Audi R8 LMS. Hedlund earned six podiums during the season and one win at the Watkins Glen season finale. 
Merzon and Eversley clinched their first pole position as a pair at Lime Rock Park. New racer Michael Dinan joined Flying Lizard Motorsports for the 2019 season in the series, rebranded as GT4 America under the SRO Motorsports banner. Racing the new Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport, Dinan signed up for both the Sprint and Sprint's championships for a total of 31 races, bringing IMSA racer Robbie Foley as his co-driver for the SX events. The new series got off to a rough start for the American racer, who was sidelined for three events following an incident at VI Virginia International Raceway. Things turned around in the second half of the season, and Dinan with Foley earned seven top five finishes and a podium finish before year's end. One of the 2021 Flying Lizard Aston Martins Flying Lizard remained in the GT4 America Sprint and Sprints Championship for 2022, running a pair of Aston Martin Vantage GT4 cars with returning drivers Dinan and Foley. With Aaron Vogel and Michael Cooper running a McLaren 570S GT4 in the Sprint Series. The COVID-19 pandemic arrived as the series began the season at Circuit of the Americas in March, and the previously announced schedule changed as all events were postponed until July. Each series then moved from a standard doubleheader format to triple headers for four of the five remaining events. While the McLaren failed to be a competitive machine for the majority of the season, Dinan's sprint and his sprint's effort with Robbie Foley showed strong success from the previous season, earning 21 podiums and 17 victories. Flying Lizard also celebrated their 100th podium at the season opener, following three podiums earned in the weekend. With the newly formed GT America series and the SRO America offerings, Flying Lizard entered two cars into partial seasons in 2021. Longtime customer Andy Wilzog raced a Porsche 911 GT3R, earning four wins and eight podiums in 12 races in the Masters class. Partnering with TKO Motorsports with their Bentley Continental GT3, the team ran a second effort with Memo Gidley in the SRO3 class, earning two wins and an additional three podiums. Toyo Tires the 2015 25 Hours of Thunderhill race winning Flying Lizard Motorsports Audi or 8 Flying Lizard Motorsports and Toyo Tires began their partnership in 2015 as a tire development program. With the tire manufacturer utilizing the sports car champions for private testing. In 2015, the duo put their development to the test, entering the Audi R8 LMS that had previously raced in the IMSA series. The number 45 Audi R8 LMS won in the S class and overall, with the all-professional driver lineup of program manager Darren Law, Tominobu Fuji, Guy Cosmo and Johannes Van Overbeek. The number 45 Audi returned to defend its win the following year, with drivers Darren Law, Mike Hedlund, Johannes Van Overbeek and Dion Von Moltke. The Audi again finished first in the S-Class and first overall. A second entry, a number 74 Porsche 911 GT3 RSR joined the effort, finishing second in the S-Class and third overall with drivers Charlie Hayes, Andy Wilzok, Will Owen, and Tommy Sadler. In 2017, Flying Lizard and Toyo Tires achieved a three-peat, with the no. 45 Audi or 8 LMS again taking the S-Class and overall win from pole position. Darren Law, Tom Hawker, Nate Stacy, and Charlie Hayes drove the car to victory, completing over 2,100 miles. The number 74 Porsche came in GT4 club sport of Johannes Van Overbeek, Craig Watkins, Mike Hedlund, and Ross Thompson also clinched its own class win. The team also beat the all-time record of 761 laps completed during the race by completing 780 laps. The 2018-25 hours of Thunderhill race winning Porsche and drivers the team returned with a two-car effort in 2018, winning overall for the fourth consecutive year. With the number 74 Porsche 911 GT3 RSR of Johannes Van Overbeek, Justin Marks, Andy Wilzok, Charlie Hayes, and Wolf Hensler. Van Overbeek started from fifth and brought the car up to second in the opening lap, but within minutes, the Porsche was back in the garage for 14 laps, needing repairs on a broken axle. By Hensler's stint, the car had made it back into the top three, but again suffered a broken axle. In lap 596, Van Overbeek brought the car back to the lead, and after 25 hours again finished first overall, officially becoming the team to hold the most wins at the endurance event. The second of two all-female entries on the grid, the number 45 Jester and Babbitt racing by Flying Lizard Motorsports Toyo Tires Audi or 8 LMS GT4 was raced by the first-ever female drivers of the team, Christina Nielsen, Aurora Strauss, Ashton Harrison, Laura Ely, and Aaron Vogel. The all-female car clinched its Toyo Tires GT4 Challenge class win, finishing fourth overall after running a near-flawless race and suffering no mechanical issues. 
In 2018, the duo of Toyo Tires and Flying Lizard Motorsports took on a new challenge, the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. The team enlisted Clint Voschultz, a driver with the most class victories in the history of the race, to run the No. 45 Flying Lizard, Toyo Tires McLaren 12C GT3. Of 77 entries, the team finished 8th overall and 2nd in class on their debut of the 12. 42 mile, 156 turn course, with over 9,000 feet in elevation changes from start to finish. Lamborghini Super Trofeo In spring of 2019, Flying Lizard Motorsports and Lamborghini Squadra Course announced a new partnership, in which the Lizards took ownership of a Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Evo. Opening a new test program at their home track of Sonoma Raceway. Based on the customer interest in the new car, the program was built around research and development of the car and allowing prospective racers in the IMSA Super Trofeo series to get seat time in the machinery. GT with KPAX Racing GTA slash GT Cup slash GTS slash GTSA GT4 America GT America. Thanks for watching.